Hello everyone, Planet Master here, and welcome to another Pokemon video. Today I'll be going over all the information in the new announcement. Let's start off with the new Pokemon. First is Type Null. Now, before you complain about this normal type Pokemon, its name goes along with its background. Type Null is a synthetic Pokemon, or man-made like Mewtwo. It is constructed to synthesize the strengths of various Pokemon, enabling it to adapt to any situation. The mask fitted to Type Null's head is a piece of equipment designed to control its latent powers. It's extremely heavy, so it hinders Type Null's agility. To complete a certain mission, there was a Pokemon powerful enough to rival those often spoken in mythology. Now you're going to have to battle this, so take advantage of its lack of agility. But one thing that is interesting about it is that its mission is to defeat mythological Pokemon, and what it means by that we will have to wait and see. Next is Jagmo, a little dragon type with nothing really special about it, but I hope this is what starts to be the three level evolution Pokemon like Dratini, Bagon, and Gabite. In the last announcement, I missed some of the new Alolan forms such as Rattata, who now has a mustache as well as also a dark type. This they announced its evolved form of Raticade, who has puffy cheeks and is still a dark type. For the new features, Sun and Moon will be based on times that are 12 hours apart. What this means is that Pokemon Sun will read the time off your 3DS clock like any other Pokemon game, while Moon will have a 12 hour differences making it the opposite time. For instance, when Pokemon Sun will read noon, Pokemon Moon will read midnight. This is also linked to certain events throughout the game, which would be different between each, such as Island Trials and the Legendaries. Next on the list is the Aether Foundation. The Aether Foundation works in the Alola region, and its main goal is to take care of hurt Pokemon. The Aether Foundation constructed an artificial island called Aether Paradise. There, they not only provide shelter for Pokemon, but also conduct various research projects. This is that small little area in the center of the map. Right now, there are more theories than information on each of the members and the foundation itself. And if they have a secret purpose, we will not know until the game is actually released. Another new character has been introduced with the Team Skulls Enforcer Gladian, who is the partner for Type Null and plays a high value on being strong. So he will have a lot of strong Pokemon, but they might have low defense or speed, such as the Type Null. Early in the announcements, Xenograde cells and cores were talked about, and we now know how to get them. Dexio and Sana will show up as you progress through the adventure. These two are professors' assistants in Pokemon X and Y. They will give you an item called a Xenograde Cube, and will ask you to collect Xenograde Xenograde cores and Xenograde cells throughout your adventures in the Alola region. A feature known as the Pokefinder allows you to take a picture of Pokemon you find. It is loaded into your Rotom decks. When you use the Pokefinder in certain photo spots scattered throughout the Alola region, you can take pictures of Pokemon. The pictures will be evaluated, and as you take better pictures, more features like the ability to zoom will become available. The final part of the now announcement is the Ultra Beasts. In the Alola region, rumors are flying about mysterious creatures known as the Ultra Beasts. Ultra Beasts possessed mighty powers and could pose a threat to humans and Pokemon, so they are feared. It appears that the Aether Foundation is also conducting research on these Ultra Beasts. According to rumor, multiple Ultra Beasts exist, each of them called by a code name. ub one body is composed of a glass-like substance, however it's consistently changing shapes, never settling on one. While evidence of something like a survival instinct can be observed in UB01, no one knows whether it has a will of its own or any emotions. It is said for some reason its movement resembles those of a young girl. I'm going to leave you with that for now. Thank you all for watching, I'm Planet Master. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, and if you would like more Pokemon news, hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye!